It was kind of like the good old days of the ODU JMU basketball rivalry. What a wild finish and a crazy game at Chartway Arena tonight. Let's get right to it. Right off the bat, JMU came out and jumped on ODU. Deshaun Parker pulls up for the three-pointer, and the Dukes had a 10-3 lead, but two can play that game. Marquise Godwin on successive trips down the floor did this, drained a three-pointer, and ODU had a 20-13 lead. Dukes came right back, evened it up, but here comes Jason Wade. He finished with 16, strong game for him, backs it down, gets fouled. It was tied at that point right before the half. Javis Harvey as the Dukes hit eight three-pointers in that first half and led by five at halftime. They extended the lead in the second half. Here comes ODU coming back. Xavier Green had 19, pulls up for the jumper. They're only down seven at that point, but Michael Christmas, remember him from Lansdowne High, only scored three points, but they were pretty big. This three-pointer gave JMU a 12-point lead. And then Darius Banks hit back-to-back three-pointers. Another one here. And the Dukes had a 15-point lead with four minutes to go in the game, but they started missing three throws. ODU started making shots. Under 10 seconds go. ODU down by six. They cut it to oh, actually two there. Now they're down by two with three and a half seconds to go. Another miss by JMU. That was Malik Curry with the other shot. Malik Curry with a shot at the buzzer for the win. Yes, the win. Where was it? Well, upon further review, as we looked at the replay, the ball was still in his hands when the light turned red. They waved it off. JMU won it 80 to 78 for just a second there. It looked like the Monarchs had pulled off the miracle comeback. Last few minutes of the ball game, I feel like we fought. We fought at the end of the day. We came up short. What's the feeling when you think it's in and they tell you it's not? Like a heartbreak. That hurt. That definitely hurt. Losing is never fun, and uh, you know we we didn't play very well, so it's it's disappointing. It feels really good because of last year how bad we lost to them and how we gave up on them, but this time we fought to the end and we deserved to win. Like I said, it's a really huge win. I'm thankful for my guys and for my staff for staying the course and uh, and, and 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 trusting what we're doing and being able to go out there and execute and win a game like this.